In what seems like a script straight out of a dark comedy, Elizabeth Jean Carroll, who's made headlines for her unique take on sexy fantasies, managed to convince a jury to give her a whopping $83.3 million in her defamation case against former President Donald Trump. That's right, folks. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, alleging someone a misconduct can now make you richer than a lottery winner. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us to spread out conservative news the mainstream is too afraid to report on. Carol, who apparently had a distaste for Bergdorf Goodman's dressing rooms back in the 90s, accused Trump of rape. Trump, in his usual no-holds-barred style, shot back, calling her a whack job and pointedly noting she's not my type. In a world where defamation is the new national sport, Carol didn't just go for a slap on the wrist. She aimed for the stars with a 10 million damage claim. Last Friday, a jury of nine, who might as well have been wearing, I believe Elizabeth Jean Bad G's, gave their verdict. The twist? They decided 10 million was chump change and instead handed Carol a figure that could make Scrooge McDuck envious. $83.3 million. Remember, this is the same Elizabeth Jean Carol who caused CNN's Anderson Cooper to almost choke on his coffee and rush to a commercial break after she shared her peculiar views on rape. Trump's defense? He tried the immunity card, because why not? When you're accused of something in a dressing room from a bygone era, you pull all stops. But alas, the court wasn't buying what he was selling. Not one to take things lying down, Trump called out this latest episode as a Biden-directed witch hunt. His caps lock clearly as outraged as he was. In a Truth Social post dripping with indignation, Trump slammed the verdict and the apparent political weaponization of the legal system. Carol, basking in her newfound fame and fortune, embarked on a media blitz, gracing the screens of every far-left channel that would have her. During her TV tour, she didn't miss the opportunity to throw shade at Trump. On CBS Mornings, she promised to do everything she could to aid Joe Biden in 2024. Because, of course, why not kick a man when he's down? On Good Morning America, Carol and her attorney, who, by some cosmic joke, shares a last name with the judge but is no kin, pondered over how best to use Trump's money to irk him. Charity? Nah. Better to fund something he despises. Perhaps a special fund for women who claim to have been assaulted by Trump? That's the spirit of generosity in 2024. To top it off, Carol, on CNN This Morning, joked about her newfound wealth. We're inspired to not waste a penny of this, she said, probably with a wink and a nudge. And there you have it, folks. In today's America, a defamation case can turn into a multi-million dollar jackpot, complete with a media circus and political jabs. Stay tuned for the next episode in this saga. It's bound to be as entertaining as the last.